Okay, I've got less than three minutes to tell you about for loops in Python. And the first thing we need to know about a for loop is that it's used to make the computer repeat the processing of a few lines of code. So you can repeat a few instructions many times in your program. Let's look at an example here. We've got a for loop on line five. So it starts with the keyword for, um, then counter in range one, two, five. And then underneath that for loop, our code is indented, which means it's got a bit of space um, before the code, print hello world. Okay, and then we've got a line eight where the code is back to the left. So let's see what happens here. When I run this code, it starts with for loop, which is this instruction here, and then it's going to print hello world, and it's done it one, two, three, four times, and then it's printed the end. Okay, so what happens here is line six has been repeated four times now that is a bit unexpected because we said from one to five so i was expecting to see the word hello world five times and it's only appearing four times and the reason being is because python um, start at position one and it stopped just before the last position so it stopped at four another way to remember how many times it's going to loop through this is that you can say it's going to do it from five take away one which is four times okay and that's how it works now in a for loop we can have multiple lines of codes as long as we keep them indented to the right they will be part of the for loop hence the code will be repeated so for instance i could print something else here um, or i could also print and use the word counter now that's my identifier here in my for loops. Let's see what happens. Now, both those lines will be repeated because they're both indented, whereas this one is not indented, so it will only happen once, once it's finished looping. Okay, let's try this, see what happens. Hello world one, hello world two, hello world three, hello world four, the end. So as you can see here, my counter started at one, which is my starting position, and then progressively it did increment, so it raised by one every time it went through the loop. And it stopped, as I said, always one before the last. Um, this is why very often people don't call it counter, programmer don't call it counter, they call it I, for I in range. And I stands for increment, it's because the increment goes up by one. But to be honest, you can call it whatever you want. So let's try this, it should be exactly the same output, so no change here, hello world. And that's it. That's all I wanted to explain about for loops. I hope you enjoyed this.